Muy buenas chiquines y chiquinas Vamos a echar un vistacito al Blackwell Legacy Si os acordáis, el verano pasado Catherine Weird hizo un, eh, un artículo sobre toda la saga Y bueno, yo me quedé con ganas porque me gustan mucho los point and click Y las aventuras gráficas y tal y bueno, pues me pillé todas, eh, no sé cuánto me costó, unos 10-15 euros me parece en una oferta de Steam Y digo, bueno, pues vamos a hacer algún vídeo, vamos a echarle un vistacito a ver qué tal está Y, y así recordamos un poquito aquel artículo eh, Vamos a ver aquí en opciones, speech, eh, bueno, como decía ella en el artículo está todo en inglés O sea, que habrá que traducir un poquito Lo que no sé es qué es esto de classic o updated no sé, vamos a dejarlo en off Aquí había algo... Ah, el inventario, vale In-game instructions Venga, por si acaso, que es la primera vez que el juego Nota Además de las eh, instrucciones en la pantalla Puedes ver las instrucciones clicando en el botón de ayuda En la mmm, pantalla de opciones Ok Día 1 So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Oh. Wherever you are. A lo mejor le pongo subtítulos, mejor que traducir a tiempo real porque va a ser un poquito buenas. Dave Gilbert, tengo que investigar si es pariente de Ron Gilbert. Ya sabéis que es responsable de Monkey Island y otras muchas. Pues a ver, esto es un poco, nos contaba Catherine, que era rollo entre fantasmas, es decir, empezamos queriendo ser periodistas y al final eh, nos convertimos como en investigadores de lo paranormal. La intro desde luego está chula. What a morning. At least I'm home now. Interactuar con objetos. Para interactuar con objetos o personajes, eh, mueve el cursor del ratón sobre ellos y dale clic. Eh, hay un chico extraño parado enfrente de la puerta de Rosa. Intenta interactuar con él para ver qué quiere. Teenager. <risa> hi there. Um, hi. So who are you visiting today? Ah, ¿de qué te importa? What are you talking about? Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um, I live here. No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Ni ni ni. Cuestiona su presencia, pero apela a la simpatía. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. Jim All Burdo. right, Jim. Where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building <laughs> servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody <laughs> told me? <laughs> Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen them. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. And isn't he a phone? Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E. Hmm. Is that a perfect... No, 
I live there, and I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh, hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. Con un puñetazo te valdría. Vaya, mira, justo que habían pensado amenazar con violencia. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. And leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Madre mía. Sí que sí que se me se me hace una hostia. Es que esto no va a servir de nada. Este es un chulito. Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Who is this Nis... Uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing. But I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great. Call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the morning. You can look for her there. So, let me get this straight. You want me to go all the way to the park to look for a woman who might be there, and if she recognizes me, then, and only then, I'll be granted the privilege of entering my own home? That's pretty much it, yeah. This is really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm not the one who forgot my ID. Out of my way, I'm going in. I wouldn't do that. Why, are you going to stop me? Me, no. But I've got a cell phone in my pocket with 911 program, Dan. Okay. All I have to do is hit send and the cops will be here in five minutes. Dale. Are you serious? Totally serious. I don't believe this. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depending on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. Bueno. I'll be back. See you around. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Activate in an inventario. Rosa lleva cosas. Vamos a ver qué lleva. Para activar el inventario. Sí. Aquí puedes acceder a los objetos que Rosa Angela lleva, eh, además de acceder a las opciones del juego para guardar, cargar, quitar, eh, salir, etc. Eh, bueno, esto, esto creo que es... Ah, bueno, solo nos quedan, nos quedan dos, digo, porque si va a dar mucho coñazo lo quito. A ver, doctor Donald Quentin, señor Blackwell, mi nombre es el doctor, es doctor Donald Quentin y soy, era su, el doctor de atención primaria de su tía aquí en el hospital de Belebúa. He visto. Ah, he estado atento a las necesidades de su tía desde que llegó aquí hace 25 años. Por favor, acepte mis eh, más sinceras, eh, bueno, mi más sincero pésame por su pérdida. Eh, feel free. O sea, es que hay veces que, lo, como lo entiendo más in, automáticamente en inglés, eh, no dude en visitar mi, eh, visitarme en la oficina en cualquier momento. Estoy seguro. Que tenemos mucho de qué hablar. Doctor del 2006. Exit. ¿Y para qué nos querrá ver? Bueno, pues vamos a ver si ¿sí tenemos que ir al parque o qué. Vaya hostia, tiene, ¿eh? eh. Pues nada, vamos primero al parque. ¿eh? Washington Square. It's been a while since I've been here. Still looks the same, I guess. Although the dog park is empty. I wonder why. Please note, dog walking park is closed until further notice. Hmm. The dog park is empty. 
there's no reason to go in there. Mmm. Now I'm getting a stress headache. I need to get home. Oh, perrete. Oh, perrete. I don't think so. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. ¿Y cómo sabes que su perro si no te relacionas con nadie? That's her. I recognize her from my building. Nishanti Sharma, was it? This is going to be awkward. Uh, excuse? I can't do it. I can't just barge up to her. Not in front of all those people. They're all staring. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. I don't think so. Boy. That's Nishanti Sharma. No. My next door neighbor, apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. All right, here I go. Oh, um, um, uh, no. Okay, that didn't go so well. I just need to work myself up to it. Okay, you can do this. Right. Um, crap. Calm down. Need to calm down. Right, this is it. No sé, voy a probar. Hi. Um. Can I. Damn it. This is not working. I can't do this. I just can't. Pues tú me dirás que hacemos. Chiquilla. Sí, el perro no sigue. A ver, entonces, ¿qué hacemos, hija? Pues no sé, vamos a ver primero el hospital, si no pues hablar con la mujer. I don't have anyone to call. Esto es lo, lo, lo que hacía siempre cerrado. Locked. Whatever's back there, I can't get to it. Lo que solía hacer cuando jugaba de pequeña los point and click era primero lo aplicas todo. <risa> y luego ya avanzando. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Uh-huh. Is he expecting you? I've got this letter right here. Okay. Looks legit. Go right in. His name's on the door. You can't miss it. Thanks. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Yes? I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Oh, hello. Come in. Come in. You got my letter, I trust? Yes, I did. Good, good. My condolences on the loss of your mother. Thanks. My aunt is at peace now, wherever she is. Ah, quite right, quite right. So you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes, yes I did. But before we go into that, how are you holding up? Pues no sé. No nos vamos a quejar de cómo nos ha ido el día. Cauteloso. O oh, la respuesta que espera. I'm fine. Why? Oh, no reason. Just asking questions. Goes with the job. Right. You received the ashes? Yes. I scattered them this morning. I imagine you must miss her. To be honest, I'm not sure what to feel. It's not like I knew her, or even remember her from before. She's like a stranger. So why did you make it a point of visiting her all those years? No, pero que la visitábamos, no sabía. Um, She was the only family I had. I guess I felt an obligation, like I had to. And now that you don't have to? What do you want me to say? Auntie's dead, life goes on. So you'll just keep living, is that it? Yes. Keep writing your little book reviews in the paper, right? You know about those? It's hardly a secret. A number of the staff have read them, yes. I didn't think a West Village paper would interest anyone up here. 
I have to be honest, Miss Blackwell. The staff read them because they were more interested in you. Eh? Oh? Their intentions were purely benign, I assure you. It was your aunt they were primarily interested in. They wanted to know more about her family, and you proved to be, hmm, shall we say, less than eager to comply? That's their problem. Indeed. It was your choice to make. Your aunt was an interesting case. And now that she's gone, I was hoping you'd be more forthcoming with me. Just an informal chat. We can discuss mm -hmm. her condition. And yours too, of course. My condition? What condition? You never could find out what was wrong with her, huh? No, we didn't. But she still remains a fascinating case. Fascinating? I don't understand. Forgive me. I speak from a purely professional perspective. I didn't know your aunt personally. Neither did I. But fascinating? It might come as a surprise to you, but yes. But she was practically catatonic. All she did was lie there for 20 years. She'd sometimes twitch or mumble something incoherent, but I wouldn't call that fascinating. Well, as you know, she wasn't exactly catatonic. We kept her sedated. Right. She had outbursts. Yes, and we had to sedate her heavily to keep her calm, especially in preparation for your visits. What are you trying to say? Miss Blackwell, we are not a nursing home. We're not content to merely keep a patient comfortable. We are, after all, in the healing profession. We were trying to heal your aunt, and to do that, we had to speak to her. Wait, you spoke to auntie? We tried to. Did she answer back? After a fashion, yes. If Auntie spoke, why wasn't I told? Miss Blackwell, do you remember what brought your aunt here in the first place? Her screaming? Her hitting herself? I was only five years old at the time, but I kind of remember. In order to prevent her from doing harm to herself or to others, we were forced to sedate her. When we limited her medication, she simply reverted to her former state. Her natural state, I'm sorry to add. What did Auntie say? Nothing that made any sense, but one thing was clear. She was in great pain. Pain? What kind of pain? It's difficult to say, but it was immense. How immense? When we reduced her medication, the transformation was dramatic. Her eyes flew open, she thrashed, her screams. Well, we had to gag her eventually. My God. I know. Did she still feel it when she was sedated? We don't know. There's no way of knowing. 25 years. I know. Poor auntie. Wait, what do you mean by my condition? Hereditary dementia is my specialty, Miss Blackwell. And in my opinion, there is significant cause for concern. Sorry, did you say hereditary? Yes, two generations. Your aunt and your grandmother before her. My grandmother? Yes, Patricia I think her name was, right? I never knew my grandmother. Auntie Lauren was it, there was nobody else. She couldn't exactly provide me with the family history. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Well, maybe you should have. Did anyone else come in to visit her besides me? No, you are correct. I should have read the family history more carefully. I do apologize, I just assumed... Well, never mind. It doesn't change the fact that you should be concerned as well. Go on. Patricia Blackwell suffered her mental collapse at the age of 55. Lauren Blackwell underwent hers at the age of 40. What are you saying? Get that the, the same thing is going to happen to me? No. I'm saying that there is significant cause for concern. So, I had a grandmother. Apparently so. How do you know about her? It was in your aunt's case history when she was brought to us. Patricia Blackwell's symptoms were the same, word for word. Patricia's case was severe, and she was young, but it was chalked up to being an ordinary case of dementia. Until... Until it struck her daughter. Until 20 years later, when it struck her daughter, yes. It seems impossible. Perhaps it's genetic, but we've detected no abnormality. I don't know if there's 
um, el futuro o sobre los uh, las conexiones supongo que con el tema de la demencia ¿eh? you couldn't find any other link between the two cases none aside from the family connection and uh, a name a name what name the documentation we had on your grandmother is minimal but there was one interesting item noted during her more lucid moments she uttered the name joey your aunt too would cry out that name on occasion Joey? Yes. Who's Joey? We've been wondering the same thing for 25 years. So what should I do? Right now? Nothing. This type of thing is unprecedented. There is no procedure to go through, no medication I can give you. I just want you to be aware is all. And come talk to me if, well, there's any concern. Vamos, que esto de... Te viene de repente y sin avisar, así que pues no tenemos nada más que hacer aquí, supongo. Is there anything else you need to tell me before I go? Your aunt had some personal effects in storage. Mm. As the next of kin, you're the beneficiary. It's just a folder, some documents and so on. It's being sent to your address via messenger. Oh, well, thanks for that. It's no problem at all. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. My schedule is fairly open now. So, feel free to drop in any time. I'm always happy to discuss my favorite patient. Sure. Es un poco creepy lo del paciente favorito, el que ahora no tiene, tiene todo el horario libre, es como, joder. ¿Por qué puedo mirar las llaves? I don't think I need any of these keys. I don't think so. I'm not stealing stuff from the hospital. Hombre, que normalmente cuando puedes clicar es porque te puede llevar cosas. I'm not o... stealing stuff from the hospital. O porque tienen algo interesante. ¿Eh? Whoa. Uy. Hold on there. You want to go in? I gotta clear you first. No, en realidad no. Pues nada, a ver si podemos acercarnos a, a esta señora ahora. Ah, sí, ahí. Oye. Y. I don't think so. Ni siquiera le vas a tocar, hija. Vale, no podemos no. ir más para allá. I can't do this. I just can't. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. That's Nishanti Sharma. My next door neighbor, apparently. She's playing some sort of flute. No. I can't do this. I just can't. I'll just have to wait until she's finished. Or, I don't know. I can't do this with all those people staring at me. So I guess they're not going to or they're not going to the dog's leash is tied to the trash can. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. I don't think so. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Joder, ¿y qué hacemos entonces? No tenemos nada en el inventario. I don't think so. Pues no sé. Es que con no, 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 no. The dog park is empty. The dog park is empty. There's no reason to go in there. Hello again. No, I'll be back. See you around. Hello again. No, I'll be back. See you around. 
¿Eh? Sabía que podíamos... ¡Ay, no! La leche. Que podíamos mirar la ventana. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. There are bars over the windows. I'm not getting in that way. The windows look into the lobby of the building. Que si le das clic izquierdo es la acción y el derecho parece que te describe lo mismo. Pues chiquilla, no sé. En el hospital ya hemos estado y no hay nada que hacer. No, I can't do this. I'll just have to. I can't do this. I'm not untying the dog's leash. Nishanti would kill me. No, I can't. I'll just have. I can't. He's wearing one of those extendable leashes. Es que no sé si tiene algo que ver el que nos siga. Ah, mira. Oh, for heaven's sake! Don't worry, Moti. I'm coming. Esta cosa cuesta, gente. Ya la tenemos. There, all better. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Oh, it's you, the lady next door. Yeah. Hi, Rhonda, isn't it? No, Rosangela. Well, Rosangela. I hope my friend here hasn't been giving you any trouble. That's a cute dog you've got. <laughs> Isn't he just? <laughs> Normally he behaves, but he seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, great. Anyway, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Nishanti. Rosangela. So you said. Oh, right. Um, yes? I have a strange favor to ask. Go ahead and ask. What are neighbors for? You know that building servicemen strike? Yes. Jim Birdo is covering, isn't he? Yeah, that's the problem, see. He doesn't recognize me. Oh? Oh. So you need me to vouch for you? Yeah, I know this is pretty stupid. Don't worry about it. Moti is getting a little cranky anyway. Let's get you home. Thanks. Are you all right? I'm fine, I just... Need to get home. All right, let's keep walking. Hello, Jim. Hey, Miss Sharma. Jim, this is Rose Angela. She lives here. He does? Okay. Sorry about earlier. Had to be sure. Side up, sweet. Andri no me parece. Mejor tampoco nos pongamos excesivamente gordo. Y tampoco creo que se merezca una respuesta tan sarcástica. Well, now you're sure. And you must be so proud of yourself. Well... Never mind. Just get out of my way. Aparta, caraculo. Well, here we are. Yes. Finally. That stupid kid. Well, perhaps. But try not to be so hard on him. We're all neighbors after all. Yeah, I guess. Looks like somebody is hungry. <laughs> I'd best get this spoiled puppy fed. Feel free to drop in any time you want. Qué maja. Ojalá tuvieran vecinos como este. Um, 
polite. I'll think about it. No thinking needed. I know we New Yorkers don't usually talk to our neighbors, but who cares? The city can be a lonely place, especially when you live alone. I've got Moti. Who do you have? Oh, I have three great roommates. Oh? Yes. Um, their names are me, myself, and I. <laughs> I like it. But I'm um, <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, I get it. Very funny. I'm sure you're fine. Although your episode in the park tells me otherwise. And your eyes. Well, let's just say the offer stands. Sure. You go home now. We'll see each other soon, Rose Angela, I'm sure. Hey. Yes? Um, you can Thank call me you. Rosa, if you like. Rose Angela's kind of a mouthful, you know. All right, Rosa. You have a good day now. What a strange lady. Si no sé si lo raro es que sea maja. Puedo ver algo aparte de esta. No sé si... A ver. I'm not knocking on some stranger's door. I can't remember who lives there. No es que no lo veas, que seguramente ni lo sepas. Vamos a ver. I've never been so happy to see a 500 square foot room in my life. ¿Por, por qué me dices las cosas en pies cuadrados? Es algo que me fascina de, de los americanos. I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Ah, oh, no, hostia. Pues no, habrá, habrá que explorar un poquito. Ah, mira, el sobre. Looks like it's from Bellevue. I have nobody to call. <laughs> I don't need to take the trash out, it's not even full. Okay. They're fine where they are. <sighs> I am just feeling so uninspired today. Maybe tomorrow I'll fill up to it. But today, it's just not happening. Mm -hmm. I'm not up for watching a movie. Besides, I've seen all of them a dozen times. I suppose I should trim this plant. Maybe one day. <laughs> Griff is fine where he is. Querida Lauren, así que has estado a... Eh, parece que es la Universidad de Nueva York, por la U, eh, por dos semanas, desde hace dos semanas, y no me has llamado. Estoy segura de que estás muy ocupada eh, aquí en la Gran Manzana, pero no te olvides de la familia que has dejado atrás. Las cosas aquí en casa van bien. Eh, ya que empieza el instituto el lunes, así que está un poquito nervioso. Eh, ya sabes cómo se pone. Es, eh, asegúrate de escribirle una carta. Te echa, eh, echa de menos a su hermana mayor. Lo admito, eh, estoy un aún estoy un poquito nerviosa sobre... Eh, me pone un poquito nerviosa de que te hayas ido a vivir a Nueva York, sería. Eh, tú sola. Eh, Llevas eh, una identificación contigo cuando, siempre que sales, como te pedí, una de 25 páginas. ¿no? Oh, mira, septiembre del año 60. Ya me conoces. Eh, simplemente estoy siendo una, una madre. Alguien tiene que, eh, alguien tiene que serlo. Eh, mantén la mente clara, digamos. Eh, ma mantén tu mente clara, niña. Como diría tu padre. Y recuerda que tienes una familia eh, aquí en casa que te echa de menos. Te quiere a mamá. Y papá y Jack. Ah. Hola hermanita. Eh, estoy escribiendo esto en mi, new, en mi nuevo modelo Sinclair 15. Que es el ordenador o algo así. Eh, mamá dice que eh, y mejorar mi, mi letra es una causa perdida. Así que... Me consiguió este. Supongo que esto, más que un ordenador, para el año 60 solamente era una, una máquina de escribir. Eh, 
ya he escrito algunas historias en ella y esta carta no puedo teclear por mucho tiempo porque papá dice que el sonido le, le hace subirse por las paredes eh, anda que sabrá él eh, así que así que como es la vida en la gran y mal, malvada ciudad Troy eh, se muere de aburrimiento como siempre eh, ¿por qué tendrías que, ir, que irte a la universidad? Eh? no hay nadie con quien hablar en esta bueno, que en su ciudad aburrida es que hay palabras que sí que sé lo que significan pero no se traducen al español eh, te veo en acción de gracias Jack querida Lauren bueno eh, Acción de gracias. Eh, no sé qué pone ahí. Acción de gracias ha pasado. A ver, ha llegado y pasado. Y tú también. En solo dos cortos meses ya podré verte. Eh, eh, verte como una mujer completamente capaz. Eh, has eh, outgrown joder, es que me da mucha rabia porque sé lo que significa pero no sé traducirlo bien eh, como que has eh, superado ¿no? esta pequeña ciudad Laure es, eh, eso es obvio eh, Jack te seguirá seguirá tus pasos pronto estoy segura eh, visitarte en Nueva York es todo, es todo sobre lo que habla Hablando de Jack, sé que estás preocupado, estás preocupado por él. Eh, nos, todos lo estamos, pero no te no sientas que es tu responsabilidad. Eres su hermana y le quieres, pero tiene que aprender a vivir eh, sin ti en algún momento. Estás creciendo, deja de crecer a él también. Hasta Navidad, amor, mamá que, y papá y Jack. Esto ya es el año 61 hasta diciembre. Vale. Laura, ¿puedes guardar un secreto? No quiero decir esto, sobre, no quiero contarte esto por teléfono en caso de que mamá o papá eh, lo estén escuchando. Mamá es, ha estado actuando un poquito raro últimamente. Eh, empezó hace unos días después de que volviste, te volviste a Nueva York. Eh, me estaba arrastrando... Y estaba llevándome de compras cuando de repente gritó y se desmayó. Estaba eh, señalando eh, a la esquina de la habitación, pero no había, ahí, ahí no había nada. Eh, la llevamos al hospital y dice que ahora está bien, pero ha estado mm, como muy... ¿Cómo de, como diría yo esto? Ha estado como muy nerviosa, digamos, de alguna manera, y paranoica. Eh, es difícil de explicar papá no es ninguna ayuda puedes llamar y, e intentar eh, animarla eh, ella no no me escucha simplemente no le digas no le cuentes nada sobre esta carta eh, solo espero que esté bien ya Lauren parecías preocupada después de tu última llamada eh, solo quería escribirte para eh, asegurarte de que todo va bien. Eh, de, eh, haznos saber cuándo vuelvas a casa de nuevo para acción de gracias. Con amor, mamá. Joder, es que son muchas cosas. Querida hermanita, eh, mamá está empeorando. Dijiste... Tú lo dijiste... Vamos, lo notaste en, en acción de gracias. Es como si alguien eh, estuviera mirándolo por encima del hombro. Paranoia. Eh, se sienta sola, bueno, se sienta sola durante horas. Eh, fingiendo leer cuando es obvio que no está leyendo. Eh, últimamente ha, ha, ha estado tapándose las orejas como para.. Eh, para no escuchar un sonido y cerrando los ojos, eh, cerrando bien los ojos. Papá está perdiendo la paciencia con ella. Está convencido de que ha perdido la cabeza y estoy empezando a estar de acuerdo. Eh, no quiere 
en ningún tipo de ayuda. ¿Por qué no ve que tiene un problema? Esto no es normal. No es normal para nada. ¿Por qué no puede verlo? Eh, odio admitirlo, pero estoy un poquito asustado. Asustado por ella. No sé qué hacer. Lauren tiene un nombre. Eh, mamá se encerró en el baño esta mañana. Eh, parecía, parecía que estaba hablando, eh, estaba hablando sola ahí dentro. Bueno, no ella sola. Es, fue como si hubiera alguien más en el, en el baño, pero no había nadie. Yo estuve escuchando. Eh, no podía entenderlo, pero mm, sí que entendí un nombre, Joey. Le pregunté más tarde quién era Joey y se asustó bastante. Entonces se enfadó y dijo, si sabes lo que es bueno para ti, nunca menciones ese nombre otra vez. Mm, esto podría ser la clave. Si pudiéramos averiguar quién es Joey, quizá podamos salvarlo. Y voy a hacer un poquito de resumen porque si no vamos a tirar aquí un poquito de rato. Vale, la han llevado un, a una institución mental. Tengo que decir que estoy aliviado. Le arañó, le arañó la cara. Parece que... Que Laura fue a echarle una mano y eso. Felicidades, suma cum laude. Mayo del 65. Uh -huh. el, el hermano ha ido a visitarla. Nueva York es una ciudad impresionante y Columbia tiene un gran campus. Eh, no puedo esperar a, a ir para allá en septiembre, pero hasta entonces tenemos que lidiar con nuestro, con nuestro padre. Está insufrible como siempre. <ríe> Debería eh, chivarle que, que ahora fumas. Así se centrará en ti, por una vez. Ah, el hermano cuenta que se ha enamorado de una tal María. Es de Italia y se conoció en la clase de estadística. Se van comiendo juntos, es increíble. Ella es increíble. Es pelirroja. Y quiero que la conozcas. Octubre del 67. Lauren, ¿estás bien? Desde el funeral de mamá eh, ha sido difícil contactar contigo. Pero hace seis meses intenté llamar, pero no contestas. Me pasé el otro día, pero no abriste la puerta. Sabía que estabas allí, Lauren, podía oírte. Me arriesgué a usar la llave de repuesto, pero habías cambiado la cerradura. Ven a cenar en, en Nochebuena. María es una gran cocinera. No te haremos ninguna pregunta. Solo ven. Mamá, mmm, puede que no esté, pero nosotros estamos aquí. Te echo de menos, hermanita. Bueno, mira, aquí en el año 70 se ve que Laura ya empieza también con Joey. ¿Quién es Joey? Me pasé la, la semana pasada para darte un regalo de Navidad, pero no, con, mmm, no abriste la puerta. Te oí hablar con alguien llamado Joey. ¿Es un novio? ¿Estás eh, viendo a alguien llamado Joey? ¿Eso, ¿Por eso que has desaparecido en el mapa o es algo más? Eh, no, no creo que necesite decirte el qué. Mm, por el amor de Dios, háblame. El, el hermano contrata un detective privado para seguirla. Me dijo algunas cosas raras. No hablarás conmigo, pero... Hablas con completos extraños. Que va a sitios raros y habla con extraños a horas extrañas. Y habla sola cuando cree que no hay nadie.
pero luego el detective te vio desmayarte. Estabas sola en un parque oscuro del Bronx. Pues en el año 70 no era un buen momento. Esto va a punto de llamar a la ambulancia, pero entonces eh, vio que te levantabas de nuevo y eh, empezabas a andar como si no hubiera pasado nada. Siempre estuviste ahí para mí, eh, mientras crecía, no me dejes fuera, hermanita. Déjame estar ahí para ti ahora. Ella está ya desde la hora, supongo. Eh, eh, aléjate, no te preocupes por mí, hay cosas que necesitan hacerse y soy la única que puede hacerlas. No me pidas que te lo explique. Todo lo que puedo decir es que entiendo ahora a nuestra madre más que nunca. Eh, nu nunca estuvo loca, Jaco. Eh, confía en mí en esto y... Mm, confórmate un poco. Vamos, no, no confort como conformarte, sino que consuélate con eso. Eh, has crecido y has crecido fuerte y no necesitas a nadie para que luche tus batallas nunca más. Ya no me necesitas, pero siempre seré tu hermana mayor. Uh -huh. ah, bueno, ha muerto el padre. Ah, obviamente algo te pasa. María y yo nos casamos en noviembre. <risa> Vas a venir, si sí, excusas estúpidas. Abril del 73. Esto es luna de miel del hermano en Grecia. Ah, sí que llegó, sí que fue a la boda. There are some pictures stuck to the back of this letter. Querida tía Lauren, sí, tía Lauren, ya eres tía. Soy papá. María eh, ha dado a luz a un. Anda, mira. A una niña, Rosangela, que es nuestra protagonista. Como la abuela de María. <ríe> Apenas llora. Oye, pues es un poco bendición, ¿no? Uh -huh. Querida señorita Blanco, el abril del 81. Anda, se murieron los padres en el abril del 81. Sí, tenía cinco años. Por favor, contacte con nuestra oficina. Uf, a ver. Mm, puta wey. Hello? Rosangelina. Hi. Hi, Bob. Thanks so much for submitting your last review on time. For once. Yeah. I've got a little assignment for you today. Assignment? Human interest, Blackwell. Suicide. College girl named Joanne Sherman. That's awful, but... You know the Brittany house, the NYU dorm? Yes, but... Speak to some people on her floor. Get a word in with the roommate. Listen. Speak to the RA, too, and hey, see if you can score a picture of the girl. But I don't do that stuff. I write book reviews. Versatility. Mm -hmm. Time to get out of your comfort zone. Mwah. Jeremy's over at City Hall covering that strike, so you are it. Get cracking. I hate him so much. Is freelancing for that stupid paper even worth it? Well, I guess it keeps me writing, but... Oh, whatever. I'll just go over there and get it done. It's not like I don't have enough death in my life right now. Maybe this isn't a bad thing. It's like being a real reporter. Sort of. My old notepad should come in handy for this. Mr. Lauren. I don't want to ruin the picture. I assume that's my mother. She sort of looks like me, I guess. Other than that, she's a total stranger. Is that my dad? He looks so young. I always pictured my dad as being older. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. She's looking at something off camera. I wonder what it was. Lauren y este era el padre de Rosangela. 
Y aquí están las cartas. No sé si tenemos... I'm not ready for bed. Cook. Why bother when every Chinese restaurant in the area delivers? It's fake, but kind of pretty. Cook. Why bother when every Chinese mm. restaurant in the area delivers? Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. There's nothing in these cabinets I want right now. Vale. Pues no sé. Es que no sé si te lleva... Asumimos que sí. Sí, que lleva encima la libreta. Ugh. I feel like hell and I have to interview college kids. Hopefully this won't take too long. Lo que no sé es que se le rea. ¿Mm? Hi, I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. Can I help you? Perhaps. Could I ask you a few questions? Oh, this is about Joanne, isn't it? You know her? Well, I am the RA for this floor. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't know everybody. The campus police found her around 5 a.m. this morning. Can you tell me about her? Hmm. Well, all right. But could you leave my name out of it? That shouldn't be a problem. Good. Joanne's parents have already asked the dean to fire me. I don't need anyone else knowing who I am. What do you want to know? Adrian, yes, Adrian. Could you tell me about Joanne again? Well, as I said, I didn't know her socially, but she seemed nice enough. Nobody ever complained about her. She always had friends around her. She never had any trouble, as far as I know. Her suicide came as a total surprise. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? She jumped off the roof. She died instantly. It was in the middle of the night. There was there was no way anybody could have stopped her. Make sure you print that. Would you have a picture of Joanne? A picture? No. Why would I? Just asking. So how did you get to be an RA of this floor? What do you mean? Well, it's a girl's floor, and you, well... Aren't? Yes. Well, it's like this. Someone at the registrar thought Adrian was a girl's name. So here mm -hmm. I am. None of the girls have complained? Not yet. They seem to prefer it. This sort of thing happens quite frequently. You'd be surprised. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. The sign reads Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilberg. There's nobody home. I'm not stealing stuff from college kids. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. There's nobody home. There's nobody home. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Am I supposed to know you? No, I'm with the Village Eye. The Village what? The Village Eye, the newspaper. I've never heard of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, what do you yeah, want, then? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's all right. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? <laughs> Look, <laughs> so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Persistir. Mm. I understand that this must be a difficult time for you. Difficult? Hell no. It's been great. You know how long I've been wanting my own room?
It must have been hard, living with someone you don't like. What? You're, you're psychoanalyzing me now? What the hell do you know about it? You're really starting to piss me off. Mm. Mm. Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Look, just tell me a little bit about Joanne and I'll leave. Please. <laughs> you should have fake show Fine. reason. <laughs> you wanna know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at her desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Um... So Joanne was a good student? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Joanne never had trouble sleeping. How would I know? You lived with her. Like I pay attention. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Okay. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a <laughs> photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Pues, Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Combining Plus. Eh, ahora Rosa tiene un cierto número de pistas en su cuaderno. Rosa puede combinar eh, las pistas y, e intentar encontrar una conexión entre ellas. Para combinar notas, eh, left click en una y left click en una segunda. Vale. Notas. Joanne seemed to be a hard-working student. Maybe the pressure got to her. Joanne and Kelly were roommates at NYU. That's all I really know about them. Could Kelly have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Could Adrian have had something to do with Joanne killing herself? Kelly told me that Joanne slept soundly all night. If I were planning to kill myself, would I sleep soundly at night? I don't know if I could. Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU dorm. He's the resident assistant for the floor. Maybe there's a connection, but I can't see it. There's nobody home. No sé cómo estaréis oyendo la música, chicos, pero a mí me suena súper alta. A ver. No, no pone nada. Um, no sé qué perra que se mueve. No mention of Joanne's suicide yet. If it just happened this morning, I doubt that anyone would have published it yet. Nope, no information about Adrian. No, no information about Kelly. Pues a ver. A ver, a ver. 
Nope, no that? photographs yeah. of Joanne online. <laughs> no, I can't find any information about Joanne. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I have enough information to write a full article. I should see what else I can discover. At the very least, I should try and find a picture. Maybe Adrian has a photo of Joanne I could use. If anyone has a photograph of Joanne, it would be Kelly. If only I could convince her to give it to me. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. <laughs> you have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Was Joanne a good student? I don't think she had any problems. But, of course, the pressure can get to anybody. Do you know if Joanne had any trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Did I already ask you if you had a picture of Joanne? Yes, you did. And the answer is still no. Okay. They really thought you were a girl? Yes. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. been sleeping somewhere else lately. Yeah, I've been at my boyfriend's. You been following me or something? No, no. Just confirming the information. Looks like Adrian's been talking. Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? No. Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it, keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please. I wonder where Kelly goes to sleep at night. Kelly told me that Joanne studied all day, and nothing else. Wait a minute! Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Your RA told me that you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yes, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... Oh, screw it. You want to talk? Fine. What do you want to know? 
Joanne. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acting just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks, she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I'd been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. Oops. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Uh, what's well, she... not? I could really use a photo of Joanne, if you have one. Hmm. All right. Just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it. Just the way it should be. Can you tell me why? It's just background. I don't think. Suit yourself. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't want to ruin the picture. I assume that this is a friend of Joanne, but I have no idea who she is. I assume that this is a... According to Kelly, this girl on the left is Joanne. Ugh. This is getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. This is getting bad. Oh, oh my god. This really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Right, no more interruptions. Done. Articles finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. No, it passed. No. What's... I need fresh air. I've got to get out of here. Antes que nada, ¿qué es esto? It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. No. I used to talk to this picture when I was a little girl, but not anymore. When I was a little girl, I'd try to talk to my younger self in this picture. I was trying to give myself advice about the future. It didn't work then, and I doubt it would work now. What's with the lights? Hey, old buildings, you know? Always got problems. If the plumbing ain't broken, the lights are on the blink. It's giving me a headache, let me tell you. Did you have contact with Lauren Blackwell while she was here? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. She was in uh, temporary care? No, she was in long term. That's a whole different floor. This is the floor for temp patients. I see. So what exactly happens here on the temporary ward? It's just that. Temporary. Most insurance plans only cover a two-week stay, so this floor is designed for a high turnover rate. That's why the doctor's offices are usually down here. They need to be on hand when new patients arrive. Okay. Right. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Come in. Dr. Quentin? 
Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Do you know anything about headaches? It's hardly my specialty, but I know enough. Why? I've been getting them. Lots of them. In your case, I'd say they were triggered by stress. Are they usually this bad? It varies. Over-the-counter pain medication, rest, that's all I'd suggest. Thanks. Bueno. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Bueno, por hacer algo. No. I open those curtains and a dozen windows can look directly in here. Those curtains stay shut and prying eyes stay out. My window with the curtains firmly shut. I wish I could go to bed, but I have work to do. <sighs> I am just fe maybe tomorrow, but today it's just not. No mention of Joanne's suicide. No, I can't. Nope. No. I don't need to bother. There's nothing in these ca- Cook? Why- Joanne and Kelly were roommates at- could Kelly have had something to do with... All I know about Joanne is that she was an NYU student who killed herself. Could Adrian... Adrian lives a few doors down from Joanne in the NYU... I'm not knocking on some str Come in. Hello, Rosa. Come in, come in. Don't mind the pooch, he's harmless. Hi, um, dog. His name is Moti. Right. Moti. See ya. So, um, how are you? <laughs> oh, I'm just fine. Right, Moti? Aren't we just fine? So, you play the flute, huh? Yes, I play the flute. It's called a bansuri. What about you? Do you play an instrument? Me? No, I can hardly play the kazoo. Let's see. You strike me as being creatively inclined. Are you a painter? A writer? Well, I'm trying to be a writer. I knew it. Anything published? Nothing really, aside from book reviews in the Village Eye. Village Eye? You mean that little paper they sell at the stand? You've read it? I've seen it around, but I've never actually read it. Perhaps I will the next time I see it. Mm -hmm. That dog is adorable. Moti? He's spoiled rotten, but he's good company. He's taken quite a shine to you, that's for sure. Huh, yeah. Usually I'm not good with animals. You never had a childhood pet? A pet? No, I had a teddy bear. <laughs> well, you probably had the right idea. Moti's a little thing, but you wouldn't know it from the amount he eats. <laughs> he's very active, it seems. Yes, that probably explains it. See that box of biscuits? I buy a new one every two days. Moti doesn't have a stomach. He has a black hole that sucks in food. Feel free to give him one if you like. Mm. You have a very nice apartment. Thank you. A bit small, but that's New York for you. You seem very friendly with the people in this building. Well, I didn't grow up here. I didn't realize it was taboo to chat with neighbors. Well, it's not taboo exactly, it's just... Oh, I know. Just one of those unspoken things. Mm. I've found that most people are pretty friendly, though, once you take the first step. 
People have their defenses up most of the time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why do you play the flute in the park? It's a place to go, I suppose. I was walking there one day, and I had the bansuri with me, so I started playing. Next thing I knew, I had a bunch of people around me. So I go there as often as I can now. It gets me out of this stuffy apartment, and I admit I like the attention. Plus, Moti loves the dog run there. Well, he did until they closed it down. Why did they close down the dog run? It seemed okay to me. Nobody really knows. It started about a week ago. Dogs started howling, running around like maniacs, acting strange. Some even hurled themselves at the fence door trying to get out. They say it's some kind of high frequency wave that's caused by electric cables or something. Some high pitched sound that the dogs can hear but we can't. But I know better. You know better? Definitely. I noticed these things. I could tell that things weren't quite right. Something in the air. It's not a high-pitched noise. That would only cause a dog pain. This was more than pain. The dogs were scared. What was there to be scared of? I have no idea, but I know what I sensed, just like you did. Me? You sensed it. Don't think I didn't notice. Mm -hmm. I didn't sense anything. Well, perhaps. Maybe I'm just spouting nonsense. Thanks again for helping me out earlier. I'd probably be sleeping in a hotel tonight if it weren't for you. Oh, didn't you hear? The strike's over. Really? <laughs> it only lasted a few hours according to the report on the radio. I Where? suppose that's irony. I suppose so. Could I try feeding the dog? Sure, here, take one. I have plenty. Go ahead and feed him. He's always hungry. <laughs> Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. You know I spoil you. <laughs> go get it. Come on, boy. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. <laughs> See ya. si podemos ir a una parte más como el parque no sí what is happening it's gone the pain it's gone that was strange it was like like What is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but... No, no, no! No. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life... I just need a rest, that's all. <laughs> Hello, bright eyes. Bonk. Why do they always do that? Hello, Joey. So, Griff, long time no see. How's tricks? 
Right, thought as much. Black will dames. Always sleeping. You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time Nelly. Wake up. What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away. I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes, I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No. I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. Yes. I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No. <laughs> say my name. Damn you, you know my name. Now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Hi there. Um... <laughs> Who are you, and what the hell do you want with me? Huh, you don't waste any time. You're a Blackwell, all right. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone, and I'm the family spirit guide. <laughs> what? Think of me as the Blackwell legacy, darling. I'm passed down from one generation to the next, like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? You mean... the dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. Fine. We'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? Was that because of you? Did you do that? Not me, kid. Not me. I didn't make him that way, and I don't know what did. But do you really want to sit around here and find out? I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe I'd prefer going crazy. Sorry, sugar, you're totally sane. Deal with it. Fine. Deal Let's go. It. That's the spirit. After you. That was strange. Everybody just ignored you. Am I the only one who can see you? Yep. 
and hear me, so keep your voice low. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything. Can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules. Whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. What am I supposed to see? Just wait. It'll come. Wait. I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah. I'm a bit out of practice. How should I handle this? Mm, bit charming. Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Leaving so soon? I thought we were getting along. They all run. It's so hard to hold on. It's me. It's me. They won't stop. Shh. Relax. Slow down and tell me everything. I'm here to help. 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 He wants me to help him. But I want to help them. Don't they know that? Help who? Can't. Can't. They run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick! He poisoned us! Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you! Run! Run away like all the others! Not a chance. I'm staying right here. You're... You're him. He's, He's the only the one who won't go away. away. Mm -hmm. Who? Him! Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. All right. We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> uh, what an odd dream. <laughs> Good morning, bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? <laughs> I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. <laughs> I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life? That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And Auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? 
ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. There's more? Oh, yes. <clears throat> so what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. Yeah, it kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. Mm -hmm. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place. Forcing its way into your mind. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this way station. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point, or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place, and then send them on their merry way. That's it? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? Pues hombre, sí, porque si habéis leído el artículo de Catherine, dice que es eso, muy entre fantasma. Y en entre fantasma lo que hace Melinda, que es la protagonista, es eso, o sea, ayudar a espíritus a que vayan al otro lado, digamos. Y hay que generar cosas. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So, we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look all right. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. <laughs> For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy, it's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. 
That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. That's convenient. Don't look so surprised, darling. This type of thing will happen more often than you think. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic, or too violent, or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. Tiene pinta de haber salido en los años 30, por eso le perdonaré tanto muñequita y cosas de esas. El continuo, ¿no? Vale. Open. After you. Yeah. Joe. Shh. You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly. Fine. Make it quick. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What, you're a detective now? Well, forget it. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know, she could be anywhere. Studying, partying. Pushing up daisies. Mm. Huh? Nothing. Right. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. So what was Joanne really like? 
to be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political. She was so vanilla. You know, just that she's. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through his stuff. Apparently, that's Joey. Joe. Shh. You want to start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. I'm not lugging that thing around. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her, the ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. That's her, the ghost in the park. She looks like, I wonder. Can I use your phone? You what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine, just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? I can never look Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough already. I'm not taking Kelly's things. She's covered her wall with rock posters. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Can I? No. Joanne, but I'll be... Could I ask you some follow-up? Make it quick. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask... Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Apparently, that's Joey. Joe. Shh! Unless you want to explain that the wall is great conversation. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions? Yeah, is- I suppose. What do you want to know? Thanks, anyway. Davenport? No. Nobody named Davenport on this floor. Thanks, anyway. Did you ever meet Joanne's friend, Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's- never mind. It's not important. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. Maybe Allie knows who Davenport is. Hmm, no, I don't... Hmm... The word Davenport was written on Joanne's bulletin board. I wonder if this Davenport person has any connection to Joanne's suicide. I get the impression that Kelly didn't care much for Susan. 
I get the impression that Kelly did. Adrian lives a few doors down from Maybe there's a connection, but Yo, it's open. After you. Yeah. I don't want to ruin the picture. Joey says that this girl looks exactly like the girl in the park. And according to Kelly, her name is Allie. According to Kelly, this girl's name is Susan. Cannot? No. Joanna, but I'll be damned. Could I ask you some fo- <sighs> Make it quick. Do you know anyone named No, but it's, it's written- You think I care what she- I mean, what- I mean, sorry. I don't suppose- Not much. Quiet. Maybe she- I never stuck around. So what was Joe- To be honest, she was studying- She was so- Vanilla? Vanilla? You know, Maybe. just- She's- Can you tell- Why? Just background- Oh, okay. suit yourself. Sure. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, you. sure. Please let me look around. It would really- helped you out. You could ask your stupid- Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. It's just a telephone. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. Did you see the metal on that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. Joe! Shh! Try you never- I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. They'll go away. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No. Maybe. No, or maybe. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story of song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always there. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Can you tell me who the deacon is. The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do 
you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. How about Adrian? Do you know him? Adrian the man. The man with the plan. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Can you tell me anything about yourself, Allie? Allie Montego of Stuart kisses the boys, but not for long. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. There is obviously a connection between the deacon and these girls, but what? Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Does the word deacon mean anything to you? Deacon? No, I'm afraid not. Thanks, anyway. Davenport? No. Nobody Just named Davenport on this floor. Thanks, anyway. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Hey, it's open! After you. Yeah? Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Does the name Deacon mean anything to you? Nope. I'm agnostic. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out. You can ask- Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Oh yeah. Way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? I'm doing the best I can. Well, try a bit harder. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joe. Yeah, sure. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Young lady, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. It's so quiet. It... Sweetheart, are you listening to me? They all go away. The deacon made them go away. Listen, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever it is, just let go. He haunts my dreams. He gets into my head. He poisons me. He's trying to kill me. But you're... Oh, forget it. Do you know anyone? No. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. <sighs> you alright? This is gonna take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. I hate this place! 
I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. I'm here to see Dr. Quentin. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Come in. Dr. Quentin? Oh, hello. Come in, come in. Did my aunt and grandmother ever say anything specific about Joey? No. Why? Have you learned anything? Oh, no. I... I was just wondering. Oh, real subtle. Dr. Quentin, I've got something to tell you. Hmm? Yes? It's about Joey. Oh? Oh, no. Don't you dare. Yeah. Darling, you seem like a sweet kid. Don't ruin everything this early in the game. I, um... Hey! Whatever you think you're doing, stop right now. You say one word to this quack about me and the jig is up. He... Are you listening? I just spent 25 years in this dump. I'm not gassed up to do it again, you dig? You want to be locked up in a padded cell with me for company? Because that's what'll happen. And I'll make sure your life is a living... Hell. Um... Think about it. Yes, Miss Blackwell? Never mind. Good girl. Keep your yap shut and we'll Triple get on clear. just fine. I guess I'll head out. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Blackwell. Joey? I think I'll put a What do you want, sweetheart? Any idea who the deacon might be? No idea. Although, he must be a pretty formidable fellow, considering what's been going on. Any idea who- No, I- Although- I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Nope, no m So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look back on this as one of the normal ones. I wonder if the name Davenport has any significance. It could. You never know. What do you think of Kelly? That kid? I suppose once you get past all that metal, and the clothes and the hair and the nasty makeup, not to mention the skin and the nasty attitude, maybe. Nah, forget it. What do you think of Adrian? Adrian? <laughs> His parents must have really hated him to saddle him with that name. Joey. Still, to be sharing a floor with a bevy of young college ladies. Huh. Maybe he doesn't have it so bad. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. That's not funny. You want a different answer, ask a different ghost. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park, but that's all. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. There is obviously a connection between the Deacon and these girls, but what? Bueno, pues hasta ahora no 
no he estado mal, voy a dar clic de averiguar, va a ser larguito porque, bueno, no sé cuántos casos tenemos que resolver, si solo este o alguno más, pero bueno, so far, so good, bastante chulo, es entretenido, eh, ya habéis visto que es tipo pixelar, o sea que bueno, es un poco volver a los años 90, así que bueno, espero que os haya gustado y vemos si podemos, si podemos continuar y averiguar qué es lo que le ha pasado a estas tres chicas. Thank <laughs> you.